Ooh, I could've killed him. Whoa! Okay, 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 what are we up against? Man, when I tell you I have not played in a while, this is literally... This is literally my first match since the rollback went down. When the rollback went down, I was just like, I don't know if I can go back. <laughs> so I just haven't played. And then on top of that, Grand Blue came out. We've been grinding the hell out of Grand Blue. So it's just been the perfect storm. Literally the perfect storm. Now I'm gonna have to get back into the swing of things here. Got a UI all over me. Remember the ways of the Zom. Remember the ways of the DBFZ. Okay, okay, okay. I'm remembering, I'm remembering. Ooh, counter hit him, counter hit him. I tried to reflect that. Very random DP. Ooh, we didn't touch. Go ahead and go for a tech trap here. Yes, sir. Still works. Level two, please. Now it's buffering it. Oh, no, sir. Uh-uh. My turn. Are you I gonna do you I things? My man won't block his ankles. Hmm, yeah. I mean I, I definitely feel it. I definitely feel the delay. Like it's always hard to come back to the delay. I, I feel sluggish. That rollback was just so beautiful, man. Hopefully they finish it soon. Hopefully, like they just gotta put some, you know, finishing touches on it, and that's and that's it. I did not do two H. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Good job, Goldo. You're still the goat, buddy. I'm out of that. With punish that man, thank you. Man, I forgot how long the matches are in this game. Like, one match is like two grand blue matches, bro. Literally. This is just one match. That's crazy.
Ooh, I gotta kill them. Whoa! Dragon Ball. But yeah, this game is still fun, man. This game will always be fun. That's the thing. I just feel like once the once the rollback hits, man, it's what a time it's gonna be. Once it actually officially hits. I'll definitely play a lot more once that happens. Ooh. Much like most people. Damn, that's dead. Trying to get back in the handle of using Ginyu B again. I feel like before the before taking this big break, I was really getting a handle on it. Oh my god! Flash him, thank you. It's still hard for me to believe it's 2024 though, that's so crazy. Like, 2023 was one of the, like, I mean, it was like the biggest fighting game year ever, but it was just also one of the biggest gaming years ever. But in terms of fighting games, yeah, 2020, well, 2023 was just insane, man. Like, the thing about the fact that a new Mortal Kombat and a new Street Fighter came out in the same year, is actually nuts. I wonder when or if that'll ever happen again. Brand new Mortal Kombat, brand new Street Fighter in the same year. Crazy, man. Just a few months apart. Because usually when they do the fighting game of the year discussion, it's like, there'll be like one game. It's like, well, what came out this year? That's usually what people say. But last year, nobody said that. Everybody was like, dang, so much came out this year. <laughs> uh. That was tight. That was definitely tight. Pull this man up. Got a hit player, Hitman. It does feel good to be back on this game, though. I, I have missed it. I have missed this game. I have been having so much fun on Grand Blue, though. Grand Blue is just ridiculous, man. I still can't believe that the day I release my Cagliostro guide is the day that she becomes free to play. Like, how crazy is that? Now it really does like I got look like now it really does look like I got a man on the inside at Arxis. <laughs> Weird drop. Weird drop. Oh, I thought that was mine. Oh my god. That's what happens when you have two guineas on the screen. It gets confusing. It gets very confusing. But yeah, man, I, I couldn't believe it. Like, the fact that literally the same day as my, as my guide comes out, Cag becomes free. Like, man. What are the odds? What are the odds that your move is fully invincible? Yeah, you go. 
And yeah, I appreciate everybody uh, giving so much good feedback on the uh, Grand Blue content. I'm glad you guys are really enjoying it, because man, yeah, I'm really enjoying that game, and I plan to play it for a long time to come. Whoa. Well, the thing about Grand Blue, it just, it's fun. Like, and this is true for other fighting games too, it's just fun to be able to play ranked match again. That, what the hell was that? Did his controller die? That was crazy. Delay based? But, um... <laughs> but, yeah, it's just fun to play uh, ranked in something again. Like, do the rank climb. Because, you know, we did the rank climb in DBFZ, like, so long ago, you know. And there's never really been a reason to go back. So it's like when these newer games come out, it's really fun to like do that climb, you know, doing the climb to Master Rank and Grand Blue is fun. It was fun doing the climb to Master Rank and Street Fighter 6 as well. I didn't do too much rank in Mortal Kombat. I mean, I did, I but I didn't really, I didn't really strive to hit Elder God, you know? Because in Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat, I just more so, like, re I mean, I play all, I pretty much play most fighting games, like, for the fun of it, but Mortal Kombat, I really play for fun, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't really take it that serious. That's just how I am with NRS games, I don't take them super serious. I do need to get back on there and check out Quan Chi, though. Quanchi definitely seems like my kind of character, for sure. I messed around with him in the lab for a little bit, but definitely haven't, like, got him down or anything. But he was also the character I used way back in MKX. That was a Quanchi main back in MKX. Quanchi was so cool in that game, man. He had, he had those summons. You know me, you know how I love summons. I even loved summons all the way back then. Back in MKX, yeah, you could summon those uh, those bats, and you had like all sorts of setups you could do with those bats. That those bat combos were fun, and the setups were cheap, cheap as hell. Oh yeah, man, I also had a lot of fun putting together my uh, end of the year clip video. That was super fun. At first I wasn't gonna do it, but then I was just like, man, screw it. I'm gonna see if I can, you know, go back, you know, cause I don't have like an editor or anything, you know, it's just me. So I was just like, I don't, I, I wouldn't even know where to look for, for clips or anything like that. But luckily a lot of things were saved on Twitch. And then the way I structure my videos, kind of helped because usually since I have like a highlight at the beginning I was able to sk uh, you know skim like or like you know scan like some older videos and be like okay you know well, what was this one about I'd be like oh okay I remember this one and it's like that helped a lot that helped a lot being able to like you know go back and like just see like okay did something happen in this one and stuff like that so yeah that that was really fun man it just reminded me of like how many fun and amazing moments we had back in you know 2023 like it's definitely definitely a really good year I, I, had a, I had a lot of fun man Some playthroughs I wish I would have saved more footage of. I wish I would have saved my whole playthrough of Resident Evil 4 and Dead Space. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking not saving those. I should have saved those because, man, those are some fun playthroughs. But I'm going to get better about it going forward for sure.
Because over on the YouTube... Ooh. Ooh. What a drop. I mean, over on the Twitch, you know, we play a lot of uh, variety games and start making sure I save those. Like, this year, I'll, I'll definitely be sure to save the variety games that way, you know. They're just there. Level 3 this man. Mix this man. All right, we got a bald fella coming in hot. Bald fella. Bald fella going crazy. Landing recovery still exists. Also, what a drop. Woo! Almost got me, almost got me. What do we got? Uh, blue team. Okay. Trunks in the middle, 17 in the back. I respect it, I respect it. But yeah, if I had to pick like what my personal like favorite moments are of 20 were of 2023, definitely uh, the Leggings moment. That's a big one. And then my favorite playthrough is definitely the Alan Wake playthrough for sure. That was just man, I I just too much fun. Just had too much fun playing through that game with, with the chat and everything like. And it just, man. Can't say enough about that game. See if we can get out of Drop City, though. Set this man up. Splash. Splash them, splash them. When it comes to this year, my biggest thing that I'm looking forward to, that I'm like, I'm kind of starting to, like my hype levels are starting to reach like crazy, like we're reaching hype level crazy, is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. That's, that's the what for me this year is going to be the biggest game by far, like. I, man, for a while I haven't been thinking about it just because, you know, I hate thinking about games that are far off because, you know, it just makes the wait seem longer. So I haven't really been thinking about it, but man, now that that game is like on the horizon, brother, like my hype levels are definitely about to break some scouters. That game, dude, I'm planning if everything goes well, I'm planning to do a replay of, uh, I'm planning to do a replay of the first remake. Like, I'm probably gonna do it on stream, so it's like, if you wanna see, because I'm definitely gonna play through the second part on stream, so if you wanna see that, but you've never seen Final Fantasy or you don't know what's going on, I am going to stream the whole thing on Twitch, so make sure to stop on by. I'll, I'll let you guys know when I start streaming it. Because I'll definitely... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to do a full playthrough. That's a pretty long game, so I don't know if I'll actually get through it. But I'm gonna try. That's a, that's a long game to stream. But I'm, I'm gonna do my best to, to get through the whole thing. Another one that I'm really looking forward to, and I'm conflicted because it comes out close to Final Fantasy Remake Part 2, is Persona 3 Remake. I'm, I'm also very, very much looking forward to that because I've never actually beaten Persona 3. Like, I've played it many times, but I just never beat it. And the last time I was playing it, I was playing the PSP version. And like, Usually that's what would knock me off the server is like because if, if you don't in case you don't know the PSP version is very very inferior to the PS2 version of the game. So it's like 
it, it it's just it was hard to play like you know there's so many scenes missing and you know the graphics are like way more limited i'm getting trunks loot it's like it, it, it's it was a, it was a hard playthrough but now that you know it's going to be remastered i'm i'm going to be in there and i'm very excited because I, I like the story and the characters a lot it's just that I only ever really played the PSP version because I missed, you know, the PS2 version when it was out. I didn't get to play it. Ooh. But yeah, overall this, oh, overall this year should be really fun for games too. And, Gonna try to get as much cool content out for you guys as I can. I feel like the channel is getting closer to like where I really want it to be. Like, because I, I I have always wanted the channel to be about multiple fighting games, and I feel like we're getting close to that now. Because with the you know with our upload. Whoa! With upload schedule now, you know, now we you know we're alternating days between Grand Blue and Dragon Ball. And the plan is to obviously continue doing that, but to expand it. That was actual mix right there. He tried to mix me. Way to make that safe. That was crazy. But yeah, like the plan is to expand that even further. Like I, I want to like work Street Fighter back in. Maybe Strive. And definitely some Mortal Kombat. Like, I, I, I want to keep working more games in. So it's like, you know, maybe, you know, one day it'll be Street Fighter. One day it'll be DBZ. One day it'll be Grand Blue, you know. Like, kind of keep things fresh. That way, like, you know, it doesn't feel like you guys are getting the same kind of content repeatedly. Like, that's that's the goal. Because, you know, I love all fighting games. And ultimately, that's what I want my channel to be. To be like a big, you know, like, celebration of fighting games. And as long as I like the game, I'll play it, you know? That's why That's why I said maybe Strive. Because I always say Strive, but then I get on Strive and I'm just like, I don't know about this. <laughs> strive, it's like a mirage. It's like when you're far away from it, it looks beautiful and fun. But then when you get closer, it's just like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Nagori Yuki exists. Nagoriyuki is in this game. Hold on a minute. But yeah, as always, I appreciate it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Ace.